In this episode of King's Quest 3, to air is human walkthrough, I'll show you how Widian can repeatedly visit the three bears' house to uh, get uh, a warm bowl of porridge to continuously feed Mananan at various times in order to stay alive on his quest for freedom. Stay tuned. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points Get free gift cards Games And much more Try free apps Get rewards Go to your iOS or Android browsers And type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash f e a t u dot r e forward slash v g o use the app start reaping the rewards again to another uh king's quest 3 to eris human walkthrough first of all i would like to apologize for the delay in making these videos i have been very busy with my projects with website design with realgamerswiz.com and many projects I have, 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 have had, had a little cold, been a little bit under the weather, not feeling myself lately, but I'm, I'm, I wanna, I'm, I'm pledged to give you at least one video a week. So I want to give you some more quality uh, content on my YouTube channel. I really apologize for my delay. Let's get on with the game. We're going to show you more how to win this game, King's Quest 3 to Eris Human. You can download the link below to, to download your copy of this game. And uh, make sure to, uh, you know, if you want, you can also purchase the original copy of this game, uh, original game that was made in the late 80s, early 90s, on my website, videogamersoist.com. Click the link below for the exact game page. Let's get on with it. Continue our hero's adventure, uh, Gwydion. And where we are is, what we're trying to do is we're going to... Uh, back to the trap door. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment here. Where is the trap door? Okay. Trap door. Okay. Now this is where we left off. Um, not quite. I actually, if you have been watching my uh, gameplay so far, it's going to pause it. Uh, I showed you how to access Manana's secret laboratory in his office in the underground trapdoor. And there's a secret laboratory. Backtracking a bit though, I decided that because Manana, after time's up, he demands something to eat, and I had nothing to eat. I had a quite a quandary, quite an issue uh, with this game. I, how am I supposed to survive Manana? He wants something to eat, and I have nothing for him to eat. He's gonna kill me. He kills me every time. I didn't bring him any food to, food to eat. So, I'm going to show you how to replenish your food supply. Whenever Manana demands food, you'll have some food ready for him. So, let's restore our game. So, right now, we're at, we're at the uh, we're at the trapdoor area. Where the secret laboratory is. We're going to go right to where we can get some food for Manana. I'm going to show you how to replenish Manana's food. Let's hurry up already. Oh, oh, oh where, where am I? Look at my items here. Okay, that is not where I want to go. Okay. Let's go upstairs first. We have to get our magic map. So will you hurry it up? Will you hurry it up, please? Let's go upstairs, get our magic map, and then we'll be on our way to get some more food for Manana because he's gonna wake up from his long nap and he's gonna demand something to eat, and then we're gonna be in trouble. So if we don't have any food. He'll kill us, and that's what's the point? Just playing this game, keep playing this. So, let's get some uh, food, retrieve our items, and take us. Uh, just take the uh, magic map, and we'll uh, hang on. Hide our items. We just want to hide in the game and the the book, and retrieve our magic. That's all we want right now. We don't need anything else right now. So let's quickly get out of here. Get out of Dodge. Here's some 
moment. We're not going to leave currently because he'll come after us. So, uh, uh, Widian needs to go downstairs and look for some food, uh, shop for some food. Uh, I use the word shop very loosely, but you'll see what I mean in, in just a moment. So we're going to go over to outdoors and we're going to retrieve our magic map and use it. You pull out your magic map. Excellent. So, we're going to go to the bear's house, which is right here. You feel a strange bears. pulling sensation. A strange pulling sensation. I wonder how that feels. All right. We're going to the three bears. Oh, there's the three bears right there. They're coming home. Let's wait for them. Uh-oh. Are they coming back inside? Great. This is the door to the bear's house. Okay, this is not too good. Uh, let's see what they're doing here. Let's knock on the door here. We can say hi to them for a moment. Scram! Oh. Oh. Okay, that, that sounded final. We're going to have to look, relocate somewhere else. All right, let's see where else we can go. Uh, let's go to the village. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Um, gotta figure out what to do here. All right, uh, let's go to the let's go to the tavern. We may have some time to go to the bear's house if we we don't take too much time. <clears throat> pull it be for you, sir. A good pull of ale, or you're rather a dram of rum. My. Ain't you the handsome one? Indeed I am. Let's talk to her. What do you sell here? For you? I'd sell more than you see a tavern offers. <laughs> but me husband won't be appreciating that. Ah. Uh, She's a <clears throat> cheeky one, isn't she? I meant, she? uh, what beverages do you serve? What's that? Drinks. What drinks do you serve? Oh, now you be talking me language. Somehow you doubt you could ever be talking her language. This place can sell you the finest liquor the land has to offer. Anything else? What else is there? Ale and rum, of course. You're a cutie, you know. I know. You're talking about gossip? Well, yeah, sort of. The kind one hears from other countries. Don't get much in the way of foreign gossip. Except from the sailors, of course. Okay. Sailors? Sure. They drop anchor, come in here, drink themselves full, then set sail again. Incredible. That we get sailors in here? No, that there aren't wrecked ships all up and down the coastline. Wench! Come over here, more ale! More ale. Let's go back to the bar. Talk to her some more? You have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. Yes, and with that, on that note, let's get out of here, because we're running out of time. So let's go out, get out of the bar. We'll come back to the bar a little bit later. But for now, we need to use our map and get back to the bear's house. You pull out your magic map. Hopefully, they'll be gone by the time we get there. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Okay, here they are. They're leaving. Excellent. This is what I want. Mama! My nose is runny! Don't you go wiping your nose on those clean clothes, Junior. Your mother will have to wash them. Won't you, Mildred? Yes, George. Wipe it on your fur instead. Okay, Papa. Oh, now I will have to bathe him again, George. All in a day's work, Mildred. Yes, George. Anthropomorphic bears, don't you love them? All right. All right, quickly. Let's get to the door. They're gone. Let's get inside. All right. We're after one thing and one thing only, the porridge. There are bowls of porridge on the table. A far cry from the fish, honey, and berries you were expecting. All right. Examine the you taste the porridge and decide that this bowl of porridge is too hot. And let's examine this one then, the one on the far end. 
You taste the porridge and decide that this bowl of porridge is too cold. Okay, so what about the middle one? Just right. So you take it with you. Excellent. The warm porridge is in a pretty blue ceramic bowl. Its aroma wafts up to and tantalizes your nose. You don't feel like sitting down and taking a bite. Maybe later. Yes, but Manan will be, so let's make sure we have this porridge ready for him. Get our magic map. Uh, yeah. Magic map, and let's go. You pull out your magic map. You feel a strange pulling sensation. We got our porridge. Let's get back to the house before he wakes up. And let's go all the way up this ledge here. All the way up. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right. Now we can save our progress as. Place. Yes, we got a porridge. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. Climb all the way up. Okay. Now, Manan's still sleeping soundly, so don't disturb him. Go back to our bedroom. Go to our bed. Hide our items. So we got our porridge and our magic map. Hide all. Close. Okay. Save as bedroom. Now let's go for a sleep. Wait for a while. He'll wake up himself. Alright. It's time for him to get up. Let's see what Manan wants. comes I am ravenous fix me something immediately yes sir all right let's go to our bed quickly while he still is busy occupied in the kitchen and we'll get our porridge retrieve the porridge Got our porridge. Save our progress. Porridge. And let's go. Let's go downstairs. We're head down to the bot to the entrance way. The lobby. Okay. Let's go into the kitchen. Dining room, too. Manannan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Let's get him uh, his porridge. Eat up, Manannan, eat up. Porridge is served. all filled up and save our progress as Manannan fed place and let's talk to him for a few seconds. Manannan does not appear in much of a talkative mood at the moment. Conversing right. with him further might be unwise. All right then. Then I'm getting out of here. Don't mind. I'll, let, I'll leave you alone with your, your porridge. Stairs. And head back to the bedroom. Go to sleep. Nothing else to do. Sleep. Time to 
get up. All right, that was a clue, a cue, I guess. Now it's to go outside the bedroom. He's coming back. All right. Wait, I have time. decided to take a journey. All righty. Okay, so let's go back to the bedroom and let's see, uh, save a progress. Uh, bedroom and yes, yes. There you go, gamers. Now you know. Now you know how to feed banana. And when you run out of food, all you gotta do is go back to the bear's house continuously. And you can do this as many times as you need to. Uh, the bear's porridge will always be there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. So we're gonna go. Uh, oh, let's go back to the bedroom. Okay, we're gonna pick up our items that we need. We go on a little trip. Retrieve some items. We're gonna retrieve our magic map and excellent. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna go downstairs. All right. Now we're picking up, picking up speed. We're starting to make a difference in this game. We go outside the house, and we will now uh, go to our, uh, our item. You pull out your magic map. Out our magic map. We head back to the bear's house. You feel a one. strange pulling sensation. Okay. Oh, oh there's there's uh, Mrs. Bear. What's she doing here? The lady of the house is tending the garden. Okay, can you talk to her for a moment? Hello. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Talk to her a little bit more? Stay away, human! Uh, okay. Bear's house. What happens when I say hi to her? Will she attack me? Stay away, human! Okay, she's not very sociable, so... I get the message. Let's uh, get our items. You Go can't ahead. use your map. Damn, I can't use the map. I forgot about that. Okay. Let's go out of here to the left. Okay, is there anything else I can get here? The grassy for the grassy forest a small cactus grows very bad. Can I grab any sand? You scoop up a small Aha. handful of sand. Excellent. That will prove helpful. Let's save our progress as, um, what do we save that as? Place as sand. All right, excellent. All right, I wonder what's gonna happen if I go back to the bear's house. Is she still gonna be there? Oh, they're going back in. Oh, the bears are going back inside. I can't visit their house yet. So we have to take our magic map and... You pull out your magic map. All right, let's go. Go into the village. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Excellent. Okay. Let's go back to the tavern. Talk to the mate, the barmaid. Let's talk to the barmaid. You have again. nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. All right. What is here? This instrument looks out of place here. Just grab it. It looks like a musical instrument. Can I help you there? Just wondering where this instrument came from. Young man used to come in here a long time ago. About your age, according to me daddy. Had that thing he liked to play. Seemed to make him happy. Grab it. The barmaid looks like she can handle anything from rowdy patrons to sneaky thieves. Better not press your luck. Let's talk to her a little bit more. 
A loot made this young man happy? Nah, he ain't done it for the money. Just like to play is all. You know, entertain the customers. Who was he? Don't rightly remember. I was only a wee mite then. I think he lived with the wizard. Though I might be mistaken. I'll do a little bit more. Why does the loot now hang on the wall? One day the young man stopped coming over. Daddy found the instrument lying just outside. He said it was real weird how the air around it smelled all smoky. Though there weren't no fire about. Anyway, he put it on the wall in case the man should come back for it. Do you think he will? Hard to say. No one's seen him in years. Talk to a little bit more. May I borrow the loot? You one of them musy types? Um, yes, I am. I like a man who explores his creative side. Indeed, I'd very much like to practice with it. Of course you can have it. Thank you. If you agree to play for the establishment. Talk to, talk to a little bit more. You want me to play for you? You're catching on good. I don't think that I'm ready to perform publicly. Oh, come We ain't had a good performance around here for years. I couldn't. Really. Well, the loot will be there if you change your mind. Let's talk to a little bit more. You have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. All right, let's pick it up. Let's see what happens. Keep the row. Strum it a bit. I'll give it a try. Wonderful. I'm a bit rusty. You sure are. Can I have the loot now? Wouldn't feel right giving it to someone who's not musy enough. Yikes. Sorry. Put it back on the wall. Uh, let's talk to her again. You have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. All right, save the progress, save as um, tavern, place, yes. Now let's get out of here. By now, it should be safe to go to the bear's house. Alright. Magic map. Here's stuff. Uh, go back to the bear's you house. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Pulling sensation. Alright. Let's knock on that door. Hope they're not home. Nobody home, I hope, I hope. There is no answer. Aha! Go inside and behold. There are bowls of porridge. Let's grab the bowl of porridge. Just right. So you take it with you. Excellent. Let's get out of here. We got our bowl of porridge. Save our progress. Porridge sweet. Sweet porridge. Now, where else do we want to go? Let's try explore a bit more. We still have some time. So let's go move around a bit. See what's going on. Let's go up a bit. Watch where, watch those robbers now. Be careful. Let's go over here. Head on to the right. Junior, today continues a proud tradition. It began many, many generations of burrs ago. When a young burr has come of age, as you have, he takes his first stroll in the woods. Afterwards, he returns home to his first real burr's breakfast. You eat this, Papa? Wow. <laughs> no, porridge. Let the bears eat their fish. But I thought we were. Time's a-wasting. Let's go, Mildred. Yes, George. Bears and fish, not, not porridge, but anyway, it 
really doesn't matter. Let's move on. Head on to the right, left, I mean, left. What's going on here? Let's see what's going on. Nothing in the desert I want. Really, really, is there nothing really here? It's, it's more down here. Up here? Up, up. There he is. The bard. Home. Is there a place I'm meant to be? Where there's a face I want to see? Then I would leave this past behind. No more reprieve. Through with hiding. The perplexed bard is composing some poetry. Let's talk to him. Greetings. That's an interesting poem. Thank you. I wrote it myself. It's not finished, though. What is it about? It speaks of a young man longing for a better life. Naturally. Just as I long for the seductive murmur of an audience anticipating my every word. Say, are you busy? Fairly. Have you always wanted to be a poet? No. Before I left my hometown to cross the vast desert to this land, I wanted to be a dancer. What happened? I was excommunicated by a populace immune to talent. I'm sorry to hear that. Everyone's a critic. No matter. Soon after, I heard the muse call. Bound to her beckoning, she has led me here. Some more. Have you finished your composition? Not yet. There's something missing, though I can't put my finger on it. What do you think? Well, uh, the words have a, uh, um, lyrical quality, broadly speaking. Lyrical? Hmm. That's it. Music. These words would ring all the truer were they sung. Ah, but alas, I have no instrument. Huh, or do you? The bard seems to be rather distracted by his inability to complete his composition. Why does the end not come to me? <sighs> I'll try again. What happens if I touch him? His lines might be depressing, even close to home, but take it easy. What's this? It's a water pitcher, full to the brim. Let's grab his water pitcher. Please, don't touch that. It is my only means of returning through the desert. Not that I would choose to do so again. Even if open arms were to herald my arrival, I doubt I would know my way back. You trekked through the desert with only a pitcher of water? It is wow. no mere pitcher. It is enchanted. Wow. Let's talk to him some more. Days. There... Your pitcher time. intrigues me. What does it do? What do you think it does? Produces water. From thin air. Of course. Enough for a dozen men at a time. Zounds. Amazing. How does your pitcher work? You only have to say the word written inside at the bottom. What word is that? You could read it for yourself. Were it your business to? The bards. Let's look at it. It's a water p The bard seems awfully protective of his water pitcher. Pain. All right, let's go. We don't have much time. I'd like to listen to your poems some more, Bard, but some other time, okay? All right. Uh, save a progress as Bard. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just head on back to the base, uh, back to our bedroom. You pull out your magic map. We've got enough here for now. Go back to the castle. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Excellent. All right, let's go back to the top of the mountain. Head back to Manan's house. All right. 
close the door, open the door, close the door. Head on back to the bedroom upstairs. items away. Hide. Hide all. And done. Save our progress as bedroom. Place. Place. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we go for sleep. Now, we're going to make sure this works. Sleep. We can, we've can. we saved our spot, so in case we need to go back to this point before I fell asleep, I can go back. But we're going to see if this works. Banana will, uh, we can deal with Banana properly. Time to get up soon. Okay. Let's see what Manana wants this time. I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Excellent. Time to feed Manana. Save our progress as. Retrieve and we'll retrieve our item, pick our porridge, and head on out. All right, okay. To the kitchen. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. Yes, we know already. Let's give him something to eat. This item cannot. Pick up a porridge and give it to him. Here you go, Mananan. Here's your porridge. Eat up. Let's talk to him, see what he wants. Mananan does not appear in much of a talkative mood at the moment. Conversing with him further might be unwise. Alright, let's save our progress as... Mananan fed. Place and meal go back upstairs. Alright, let's go upstairs. Bedroom, go to sleep, sleep, should be getting up automatically. All right, didn't sleep very long. Let's go outside. What does he want now? I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Let's go back to our bedroom and we'll save this spot as we'll save this as uh, we'll place this as Manan's Manan's sleeping placing and we'll take a little break. So uh, quit our game. Yes, want to quit. 
gamers, thanks for watching me play King's Quest 3 to Eris Human.